Hi, it's Motorola Droid Help and Info, and today I have a really great tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to turn your droid into a Nexus One. Just the home screen. And you don't have to root it or anything. But the first thing you have to do is download an app called Installer from the Marketplace. And of course, install that app. So, once it's done installing, you want to hook your droid up to your computer and turn on the USB. And after that's done, open up the droid folder and download the program, I, I mean the application I have in the sidebar, and just drag it into your droid folder like this. It's pretty simple and it's the same on almost every single operating system. After that's done, you have to go back to your droid, so you have to unplug everything and take your droid out and you have to open up the app we just downloaded called Installer. So now that you have the app open, you're just gonna wait for it to load, and once that's done, you want to click on the application called launcher2.apk or 2.1, my bad, and install it. Then you just go through the normal install process of an application. Also keep in mind this application isn't that stable and should only be used for show-off purposes. So it really only works well in portrait mode, so once it's done installing you have to switch your droid over into portrait mode to really get it to work right. Because the 3D effect doesn't really look right unless you're in it. Okay, so just switch to portrait mode like this. And hit the home button. But don't go hitting anything else right after that. Uh, sorry, it, the application was messed up. And then you want to scroll down the list and hit launcher. And there you go. This looks exactly like a Nexus One home screen, except it's missing those widgets. Also, and there's a 3D effect, also keep in mind, before you do this, remove all your widgets off your home screen. Uh, you have to uh, remove them not from GDE or home replacement, but from an actual the actual default home screen. But I'm just going to keep my default home screen as GDE for now, since... The other one's a little unstable, and I can just show it off whenever I want. So, thanks for watching.